Hey, what's up? Welcome here with the Imagination Creation Films, and today, well, we're talking about this. How in the world I got the Aperture Spotlight Mini Zoom to just rise up and point directly at you. So recently I did a review on the Aperture Spotlight Mini Zoom, and uh, well, if you hadn't seen it, it's right here. Uh, a couple of people asked, uh, Scott, how did you get that uh, Spotlight Mini Zoom to raise up and point at the camera? And then it lit itself. How, what, what is this magic? Well, it's not magic. It's smoke and mirrors, but I didn't have any smoke. So yeah, let's dig into that right now. Well, it's actually really simple and you all know how much I love the Kessler motion control systems. They're not just for cameras. You can move light, or in this case, a spotlight mini zoom. And what I did was I used their TLS on a sled, and then I put a pan motor on it, and then I'm using Chaos software with a laptop and the second shooter, and merely I have it programmed where it's gonna come up, slowly hit the camera, and then my wife triggers the light, and it turns on, and then I have it come over here. And when it comes over here, well, what it's doing is it's bouncing off a mirror right here, bouncing off a mirror right here, coming back to right over here. What? Yeah, you just use mirrors to bounce light and it's, it's actually a lot of fun. You can also use it to cheat like building heights if you wanna shoot up at a window, but you don't have a bottom floor, put a mirror on the floor, shoot down, bounce it up, and it looks like you're coming up from the bottom, looking up. It's uh, it's a neat trick. But you can do it with light too, and that's what I've done. So just mounting this over here, and, and it's really, really easy to do. It looks complicated. Now, one, one note, it is glass and mirrors, so be very, very careful. Don't break and bend, don't clamp down on them. Just be very careful how you uh, mount them. So to do it, it's, it's really simple. Get the light and point it in the direction that you want. In this case, I wanted it to point across from me. Then bring a mirror as close as you can without getting into the scene and bounce it over here. Bounce it to a location that is uh, not gonna be in the picture, but also not gonna block your lights or anything like that. So then it hits it, it comes over here, then all you have to do is take this mirror and bounce it back over here. It's pretty easy. You can actually just look as you're looking through each of these. You can look from the spotlight into this mirror. You should see that mirror, and then you should see the spotlight back in it. It's, it's fairly easy. And then the motion control, I mean, I just ran it, and then on cue, the light turns on, and boom, we have ourselves an operational cannon, a light cannon, that is. And that's the Aperture Spotlight Mini Zoom, and it's kind of like a little, little light cannon. But uh, yeah, mirrors are great, and motion control is not just for cameras. You can use it on anything. Just, you know, if you wanna motivate a cardboard cutout like Kevin McAllister, did in the home alone you can just have it go back and forth you can do that nothing to it you can have a lot of fun but the creativity is all up to you doing it well that's also up to you yeah i'm not gonna do it for you so yeah you have any questions about any of this stuff just feel free to leave them in the comment section down below i try to read and respond to each and every one if it's just to say yeah cool i agree uh, remember to subscribe, uh, click on the alert bell, click all notifications, that way you'll know when I'm live streaming. You can support me with any of the links down below, their affiliate links, you can use PayPal, you can use the tip jar, you can become a member of the channel. There's so much you can do, great ways to support me and I do greatly appreciate it. And as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life, let your life center around your passions.